Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit for Friday, November the 11th, 2022. And uh, good morning to you. It's also Veterans Day. So to all of you uh, men and women who have served our country in uniform, we all want to say a resounding word of thanks for the uh, for the freedom that we enjoy and that you served to defend and to protect. We thank you for that. We will be observing that uh, in the morning worship services at SeaTex on Sunday, our home in the Holodome. The Holiday Inn on Walden Road at 10 a.m. Come join us for that. I will be preaching on the art of giving thanks, part one. <clears throat> the art of giving thanks, part one. I think when you uh, spend time with me Sunday morning with us pondering what we have in Christ and what he's given us and what can never happen to us and what will always be ours uh, in part one, you'll leave there feeling better Sunday. Uh, sometimes we focus on the negative to the point where we forget uh, what we have in Christ, and that's one of the reasons he tells us to give thanks in all circumstances. So join me Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, the Holiday Inn on Walden Road for the Art of Giving Thanks, Part 1. And if you haven't seen the weather lately, now if you like uh, hot weather, then this isn't for you. But for those of us that would like a break uh, from the sweat, uh, today is supposed to rain, Monday is supposed to rain again, but... Uh, the big news is the highs will not get out of the 50s for the next seven days, according to Mr. Bostwick. So enjoy that. Well, yeah, this morning, we look at Acts chapter 1, verse 8, and the title of the biscuit is, Let's Say He Calls the Note. <clears throat> Let's Say He Calls the Note. Uh, to, to put it in terms, make sure uh, I was right, I looked this up on the uh, infallible interweb, and to call the note, meaning on a loan, so is what, this is what it says. When a bank accelerates all payments on a loan to make the entire balance immediately due, but give us all our money right now. Usually banks include the right to do this in their loan agreements, which means uh, that if you sign a paper saying you think you've got 24 months, 36 months, whatever, uh, to pay that loan off, uh, they have the right to call you and say, nope, we want it today. Uh, and sometimes I think uh, we need to, well, let's, first let's make sure that we uh, have money somewhere else to pay that if we need it and it's a business decision. But uh, beyond that, <clears throat> beyond that, let's say this. Uh, sometimes you and I start thinking we have X number of years left on this earth. And guess what? Maybe we do and maybe we don't. And so at the end of the day, I would suggest whatever we're going to be doing, Let's get on with it. And let me point out to you what Jesus said we are left here to do. There are only two things we can do here that we can't do in heaven. That's sin and witness. And he didn't leave us here to sin. So listen to Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even to the remotest part of the earth. What does a witness do? He tells what happened. That's what he does. And the Gospels are four eyewitness accounts to what happened. And I have always said to people for 38 years in the ministry preaching the Gospel that you need to have two things to be able to win someone to Christ, lead someone to Christ. Number one is a knowledge of basic scripture, John 3.16, uh, Roman Road, that kind of thing. But also uh, how it used to be, what happened, and how it is now, and what Christ did for you. So let me ask you this. If he called the note today, if we went home to be with Jesus today, we thought we had five years, we thought we had 10 years, whatever we thought we had. Let's say we don't. He calls the note. We go home to be with Jesus today. Have you ever shared your faith in Jesus Christ with someone else? Have you ever been a witness and told what happened? <clears throat> like if, if you saw a wreck, they'd want you to be a witness in court about what happened at the wreck. You have seen the Son of God change your life from the inside out. I think it's probably time we start telling somebody. So does the Lord think that it's time we start telling somebody. So have you ever done it? Let me remind you of something else. You said you would. You did. When you signed on the dotted line to be a believer in Jesus Christ, you said you would. And my question is, <clears throat> he still loves you, you love him, I get all that. But if he called the note and you were out of time here and you went to stand before him, would you be able to say that you had ever shared your faith in him like he asked you to? Let me pray for you. Father God, help us to get past the attacks of Satan and the deception and the putting it off and the procrastinating. God, push all that aside today and let this be the day 
that we share our faith and we share our testimony, we, we become an eyewitness account to who Jesus is for somebody. <clears throat> Lord, we think we have a certain number of years left on the earth if all things are normal, but all things are not normal. And I pray that today as believers, you would empower all of us and call all of us to do, so, do what we can, do that much, and do it now in being witnesses for you and trying to see people come to Christ as our personal, as their personal Lord and Savior. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, again, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you enjoy the cooler weather. Uh, veterans, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you've done. And uh, I hope to see you Sunday morning where we'll observe a little bit of, about Veterans Day and honor and uh, thank you in the worship service. And then we will look at the Art of Giving Thanks, Part 1. I think it will be a very inspiring and encouraging time for you. So join us at our home in the Holodome, 10 o'clock Sunday morning. Rem oh, we didn't do it yet, did we? <clears throat> may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. God bless you.